Hello everybody! In this video, I'll show you how to change Windows Display Language, how to add, set up and remove additional languages in your operating system. We will also have a look at possible difficulties you might have, see how to restore the disappearing language bar, how to assign a particular language to certain programs, and talk about some more language settings in Windows 10, 8 or 7. Now, let's begin! Dear friends, if you need to recover deleted data, use Utilities by Hetman Software. Follow the link in the description to visit our website, download a utility for free and install it. Then start disk analysis. When the process is over, it will show the files available for recovery, and you will be able to bring them back. Our blog features quick guides to solve all kinds of problems faced by Windows users. Our channel and blog offer solutions for any issues, from installing the operating system to remote administration and connecting mobile devices. Our specialists will be glad to answer your questions in comments to videos and articles. Add in a language. For example, you have an a Spanish version of the operating system and you want to add another language. Open Control Panel. You can do it through the search field by entering Control Panel. Then select Clock, Language and Region and click on Add a Language. Once more Add a Language and select the language you want from the list. When you do it, click Add. Now the new language has been added, you can see the language bar, so you can switch it to any language you want to and use it. If having one more language is not enough and you want to change the operating system display language, click on Options in the same menu, and in the window that opens, click on Download and Install Language Pack. And wait for the download to finish. It may take some time. Now the language pack is installed. To make it a default language, left-click on it and choose Move up. Now you can see the display language will change when you log in next time, so you have to restart the computer to change the display language into the new one. As you can see, the display is in a new language now, but you might have noticed that welcome screen was still in Spanish. Now I'm going to show you what to do to fix this problem. Open the control panel. To get it started, enter into the search field control panel and everything is shown in the proper language now. Select Clock, Language and Region, then Region, where you can set up language parameters for the welcome screen, system accounts and new user accounts, location, as well as date and time formats. Open Location tab and choose the necessary item from the list. Go to the tab Administrative, then copy settings, check the box next to Welcome screen and System accounts and New user accounts, and then click OK. The system will suggest a restart for the changes to take effect. When the system boots next time, you will see the Welcome screen in a different language. If the option Download and Install Language Pack is unavailable or not shown for some reason, you should go to the Control Panel and search the language settings for the menu Advanced Settings. In Override for Windows Display Language, set the choice for Use the Language List. After that, the option Download and Install Language Pack should appear in the settings of the selected language pack. If you have a certain language selected as a default display language and you need to change it quickly into English or another language, select the necessary language from the list in this menu and click Save. The system will suggest you to relog for the changes to take effect. It's very convenient when, for example, you are making a video and you need to show Windows settings in another language or make a uh, setting screenshot. In the same menu, you can select the default input language at System Logon. For example, you have a certain input language selected at Logon, but it's convenient for you to have a system boot with English, so you change the settings in Override for default input method to choose English and click Save. When the operating system boots next time, the default input language will change to the one you have chosen. Choose an input method for every application. In this menu, you can also choose the input method for every application. How it works? For example, when I work in Word, writing an article in Russian and at the same time use another application, for example, Notepad, where I write in English, I have to change the language manually <coughs> every time I switch from one application to the other, which is far from comfortable. 
Enable this function and Windows will automatically detect the language for every application. Now when I work in Word and type in Russian, I don't have to change the language manually every time I jump to Notepad. The system detects the input method automatically and changes it. Here you can also set how the language bar is used. J just check this box and click on Options. In the window that opens, you can set up the language bar location, hide it, make it transparent when inactive, and so on. In the previous menu, you can also change the hotkeys to switch between the languages. By default, it's left Alt Shift, and in Windows 10, Alt Shift and Windows Plus Space. Click Change Language Bar Hotkeys and select Change Key Sequences to Ctrl Shift, Not Assigned, or Grave Accent. It's the button under the Escape button. Select the method you like and click OK. Get in the language bar back in Windows 10. If your language bar icon is gone for some strange reason, it's easy to have it back. In Windows 10, open Settings, Personalization, Taskbar, turn System Icons on or off, or just enter in the search field System Icons on or off, and you'll be redirected to this menu. Enable Input Indicator and the language bar will be displayed in the taskbar. Fixing the character set issues When you open a program or document and you see strange symbols instead of the text, open Control Panel, Clock, Language and Origin, Origin, Administrative, Change System Locale, and change it into the proper language. Click OK and restart the system. The incorrect symbols issue should disappear soon. In the region setting, you can change how date and time is displayed in the toolbar. In additional settings, set up numbers, decimal symbol, number of digits after decimal, select the measurement system, metric or United States. These settings influence display of numbers in such applications as Microsoft Excel. Having changed the currency here and selecting the currency format in, for Excel cells, uh, the currency symbol will change from US dollar to Euro and so on depending on your Windows settings. Removing a language pack Installing several language packs will influence the amount of free space available on your hard disk as well as your system performance. Install only the language packs you are going to use. If there is a language pack you are not using, you can remove it and save some invaluable space on your disk. Open Control Panel, Clock, Language and Region, Language, left click on the language you want to delete and select Remove. That's all, this language is deleted. Or you can press the key sequence Windows plus R and enter the command in the window that opens. L, P, K, Setup and press Enter. Then click on Uninstall Display Languages, check the ones you want to remove, and click Next. Wait for the removal to be over, and then the system will suggest you to restart. After the restart, the language is removed, but in this case restarting may take more time than usual, so make sure you don't shut it down or you can harm the operating system. That is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!